Hello beautiful humans, my name is Taryn and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing my favorite thing of the month and that is picking out next month's TBR. I'm so excited. I'm in this mood right now where I am very much loving romances and I'm very much loving fantasy. So I have a feeling that's just where my August TBR is gonna go. Lots of romance, lots of fantasy. Let's pick out our TBR. So we have our TBR cart behind us. I'm gonna I'll pull it out. It's a little overflowing and that's my B. I tend to shop a lot, but it does bring me joy. So who the heck cares, you know? Who the heck cares? So let's pull it out and hope that these books don't fall. Okay, yeah, cool. So you can see we have my three shelves. It is front and back in case you're wondering. <laughs> I also have shelves down here that are TBR and back there that are TBR. And then yes, these books up here that are also TBR. <laughs> no, Taryn Lee. Okay, where do we begin? Where do we begin? Um, Let's start. I definitely think that I want to read In the Weeds by BK Borison. I loved Love Light Farms and uh, I don't know, this gives very like, oh, I think this is her spring cover actually, but the orange gives August. So that seems perfect for the month. What's this about? A grumpy farmer and a no-nonsense social media influencer have another chance at love in this charming romantic comedy. Woohoo! Wait, so this one's about Beckett? Oh, thank God. I was itching for his story in the last one. Uh, I loved Beckett. He's grumpy, but like a cutie patootie, you know what I mean? I didn't know he had tattoos. Look at his little, little tattooed arm. Um, well, I'm glad I know one book. Okay. You know what I need to do? I need to read more books in the series that I've started already. So let's pick up Vipers and Virtuosos by Sav R. Miller. This is the second book in the Monsters and Muses series. I really liked the first one. I think I gave it a three and a half star, but I do believe that they're just gonna keep getting better and better as the series goes on. That's what I'm hoping. I guess. Oh, I do remember though that the first one really, really, really tried super hard to uh, incorporate the like Hades Persephone thing. And I thought that was kind of stupid. Like I, it felt very forced. And this one I feel like is gonna do the same thing. So it says Eurydice and Orpheus, like Eurydice in human form, Eurydice? whatever, in human form, her beauty eclipsed by demons, and then Orpheus in the flesh with his sad songs and strange obsessions. The siren who calls to the darkest parts of him, only I disappeared before he could act on it, but now he's here and he wants me to repent for my sins. I have quite literally no idea. And the fact that I read like, I read here and then I read down here and then I read this. Like, why did I do that to myself? I don't know, but I'm, that's all that I'm gonna know about this. Let's pick it up. And they're spicy and we love a good spasha book. Um, do I wanna do this to myself? Do I, do I wanna read Magnolia Park's Long Way Home? I think I do. I think I wanna put myself through this emotional, emotional terror, Taryn. I hate when I open books and I start reading. Why do I do that? Literally, why do I do that to myself? I do though have a feeling that if I, like when I finish this, I'm going to automatically want to read Daisy Hates, the last, um, Daisy Hates and the Great Undoing. Wait, it's The Long Way Home. Did I say The Long Way Home? Did I say The Great Undoing? I don't know, but I'm not going to put Daisy Hates on my TBR. If I read it, then I read it, but I'm not going to put it on my TBR, if that makes sense. Oh my god, I could literally cry thinking about this book. <laughs> Be just going, going to kill me. How many more months are there in the year? We're in July, August, September, October, November, December, five. Okay, so then I'm good to hold off on that. And I think, oh yes. I've got to start picking smaller books. I don't know why I'm going for books that are 500 pages. I, that's so annoying of me. But I do want to read The Right Move um, by Liz Tomford. I read, I read Mile High this month, July, and absolutely loved it. And everyone was like, just wait until you read Right Move. Just wait until you read The Right Move. Like everyone was saying that. And I truthfully don't know how it could get better, but I'm excited for it. I'm pretty sure they're roommates. So it's about the girl's brother the girl in the first one, her brother, and then her best friend. And he needs her to act as his loving girlfriend. <laughs> Fake dating, absolutely count me in 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Let's pick some smaller books now. And let's maybe, I don't know, flip to the back since we tend to ignore the back of my TBR. None of these are small. Maybe that is why. Okay, is this the next one? Okay, I think I'm going to also put on there The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is the third book in the Truly Devious series. I, I loved the other two. Well, like the first one, I was kind of bored. But the second one, I really, really enjoyed. And I don't remember anything that happened. So that might be a problem when I read this but we'll see we'll try it out and it has 360 pages so we like a smaller book all right five books so far let's shoot for seven more let's just go ahead and finish the shadow and bone series the second one was utterly boring but people did say that this last one was the best one and i okay so wait i gave the first one a four star i gave the second one a three star so i do think that like I really 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 enjoyed the first one and I just like need it to like pick up the pace like it was in the first one so I have kind of high hopes for this one and since the second one was so boring I don't want to forget like what I read about like I did apparently with the Truly Devious so we're gonna pick it up or let's finish the series you know finish the series that's what we need need to be doing okay two seems like enough from the back unless is there a thriller back here i want to read okay let's do a for my thriller i like to pick like two thrillers a month i normally listen to them but i do try to pick physical copies that i have so that i'm getting them off my tbr so let's do behind closed doors by ba paris this was one of the best and most terrifying psychological thrillers i have ever read Ooh, i love that because that means that i'm i'm going i'm going to love the audio audio cool the perfect marriage or the perfect lie is what it says all right let's pick a hard cover that i have let's do none shall sleep by ellie marnie i'm also maybe i will listen to this one as well so this is about two teenagers who are recruited by the FBI to interview convicted juvenile killers and provide insight on cold cases. This gives me very much um, The Naturals vibes, but less people. So we'll see how it compares. I really loved The Naturals. I still have the other three books on um, my TBR shelf. You might as well try this one out, see if this one is anything close to The Naturals because I gave that one five stars. So we'll see how this one is. That is eight books four more and i think i'm gonna do an alice feeney book because i've been reading an alice feeney book a month pretty much at this point so we have i know who you are by alice feeney i will end up listening to this one i love listening to alice feeney books first of all they're already just like wild like heart twists and turns are insane and are my absolute favorite because even though i could guess like maybe one of the twists there's like 57 others that blow my mind completely so we'll see how this one is okay three more maybe we'll shoot for smaller ones like i was saying <sighs> let's do sun kissed by casey west i feel like i should read this before summer is over even though summer in florida is all year round um this one just looks super cute and super fun and it's short I'm guessing like a little ya romance how many pages is this yeah 305 pages we love that this might be one of the first books that i read in august just before i get into like you know my whole fall aesthetic and then let's also um, oh i have three more okay perfect i have three more books that i like know that i want to read let's do a second chance vacation by nicole ryan this author actually sent me this book so i'm excited to like see what it's about see you know what's going on i got sent cute little stickers and a cute postcard a cute postcard so we'll see you know i i don't i don't really know what it's about oh she's stuck with her ex-boyfriend in the french riviera for three weeks okay so we've got a good obvious <laughs> taryn lee you're embarrassing so it's a second chance romance in case you didn't put it together like i didn't put it together second chance vacation second chance romance I'm embarrassed for myself. Anyway, I think she might be like mid-sized, plus-sized, and I love to read about that. And then the last one I want to do is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is the first book in 
I don't know if it's just a duet or if it's going to be a series. I don't really, I'm not sure. All I know is that Practice Makes Perfect is like set after this. But anyway, it's Opposites Attract, Stranded Pop Star and a Small Town Baker. It's not actually Rome like Rome Rome. It's Rome, Kentucky. I don't know. Sarah's books are just really, really, really easy to read. They're super cute. They're super wholesome. No spice, like very closed door. And I liked the first one that I read by her. So I'm excited to like read more from her. All right, that's 12 books. So let's go over them. Okay, so we have In the Weeds by BK Borson, Vipers and Virtuosos by Sab R. Miller, Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home by Jessa Hastings. I'm so scared. The Right Move by Liz Tomford. The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Sun Kissed by Casey West. Second Chance Vacation by Nicole Ryan. When in Rome by Sarah Adams. None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. And I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney. Oh, come on, look at that little space. That's telling me that I should pick more. Should I pick more? Oh, come on, that's gonna annoy me. There's a little space there. I can fit, I can fit more books. Okay, well, since we're on the summer, you know, we're almost on the summer, let's do The Summer of Broken Rules by K.A. Walther. Let's do Too Beautiful to Break by Tessa Bailey. This is the last book in the Romancing the Clarkson series. So then once I'm done with this, then I'm done with that series. And that's another series that I can mark off in the month of August. We love that for me. That is 14 book, perfect. We love it. That's a beautiful amount. I've been ranging between like 15 to 20 books a month, I think, since January. Yeah. Let me know if you plan on reading any of the same books or let me know what you are most excited to read in the month of August. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing day, night, week, month, and year. I love ya and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye beautiful humans!